Hi, this is Josh from the digitalmediazone.com, and we're here today to show you how to add any missing ClearQuam channels that the Media Center TV setup might have missed. Uh, oftentimes, if you just plug your cable signal into your TV, it might find more channels than what Media Center does. But fortunately, there's a really easy way to add them. So the first question is, what channels are you missing? And that's actually pretty easy to find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Silicon Dust website and we just go to support channels and that takes us to this page where you just need to enter in your zip code and click search and that'll give us a page that looks like this. This just lists all of the uh, possible ClearQuam channels that you should get including the channel number, the call sign, and even the resolution. So for our little test here today, we're gonna go with channel 85.1, which is just uh, on cable, which is basically just a TV guide channel. I wouldn't really want this, but I know that it isn't in my guide currently. So to add 85.1 in Media Center, there's a couple of ways to do it. First off, Media Center might have actually detected that you have this channel, but maybe for whatever reason, maybe because it didn't know the call sign or maybe the signal strength was low, it didn't add it to your guide. So the first way to check, we're gonna go into settings and then TV and then guide and edit channels. And this will show every possible channel for you, including ClearQuam channels that it might have found but didn't add to your guide for whatever reason. So here we see some cable channels that it found, but this little lock shows that they're they're encrypted. You you can't get them with a ClearQuam tuner, but when it doesn't have the lock, those are potential ClearQuam channels that you might want to watch. But we're looking for 85.1, so let's see if it's in this list. And here it is. So all we really need to do is enable it, which we can do by checking the box, and we'd probably want to rename it. So we'll save the changes from enabling it, click yes, that's the channel number, and then we're just going to click rename, and we're going to call this on cable, which is what Silicon Dust website told us it's called. Now we're going to click save, save again, save again, and now if we go back up to TV and guide, there it is, and let's test it. It works. Now, it's possible that it wouldn't show up in, in the edit channels list at all. And if that's the case, you still have an option of adding it. So we'll go back into settings. We'll go to TV, guide, and we have this option of add missing channels. And it's basically going to give us the same sort of interface. You can see I've, I've already added one to test. So we'll just say add a QAM channel. And again, this is that number that you found back here. So it, if we were going to do 85.1, we would, uh, let's do this one. Let's do 84-2. Uh, it says dash two here, but it's dot two in the, in the media center interface. So we'll do 84.2. It wants to know whether it's QAM64 or QAM256. The Silicon Dust site tells us it's QAM256. I'm pretty sure they're almost always QAM 256. So that's a safe bet. Click next. We can give it the name. Over here it's BCSPN. Oops. BCSPN. Click add. I think it might have added two because I I probably already have it in my list. That's probably why it's showing up twice. Um, but we can delete one here. And now this will show up in the guide also. So there you go. That's your, your two simple ways of adding missing ClearQuam channels.